Okay, so we know you are the father of two daughters. Yes. And one just entered middle school. Right. So Pray for me. Pray for me. I've already <laughs> done a mean stare down to all the guys in middle school. So I love like watching on Facebook and like when you post stuff about your daughters and the daughter date you go on with your daughter. I mean, it's just, I'm like, oh, you're such a good father. Um, so what do you think are the benefits of your two daughters having their father in their life? And what, what do girls need from their fathers? Uh, it's the most important relationship um, of, of both parents. That's according to the research. It's the relationship of the father to the daughter. That's where they get their self-confidence from. That's where they get their sense of self. I mean, you think about what advantages a girl has who has her father around. She gets picked up all the time when she's little. Uh, pay attention to me. Watch me who who Come to my cheerleading match. Help me with my homework. Daddy, do you like this? Daddy, take me here. We're always telling them pretty. It might equal into the, the tens of thousands by the time they are five or six. How many positive things that we have said to them. How many times they've been affirmed, how many times they've been validated that they're special to a man, you know, and so when girls don't have it, that's a huge disadvantage, you know, even if uh, they have a positive relationship with their mom, that's a lot to not get. So, I mean, you know, I have daughters that, that range in the spectrum, the youngest is 13 months, oldest one is 11, and so balancing those two relationships, how many times I pick up my one-year-old, and then turn over and have a conversation with my 11-year-old, make sure that she's not jealous. But that is something that they're getting on a regular basis. So it is, it is critical. Plus, guys treat girls differently when they know that there is a father who is there that they have to absolute. answer to. There is absolute accountability. Mm -hmm. And saying, listen, if you're going to like my daughter, if you're going to date her, I'm, I'm actually cool with that. I'm, I'm okay. I'm trying to be reasonable in my mind. Now, right, right now, this is all theoretical. Yeah, she's my daughter is right not now. into boys yet. This is all theoretical. <laughs> I'm trying to train myself to the highest of expectation to do this the right way. You know, I am, I am, I, I, I want to let them know, hey, listen, just take care of her. Otherwise, we'll have to have a conversation, mm -hmm. you know? And so if we let them know that, uh, he's going to be okay. I, I remember the girls that I dated in high school. I remember the conversation I had with their fathers. And even when the girl wanted to do something, I was like, no. I told your father, no. Not going to happen. I'm sorry. I'm not going to get shot. I'm not going to get beaten up. I'm not. That's not going to happen. I have too much respect. I gave your father my word of what we will and will not do. And I'm not going to violate it. Sorry. Mothers who are in the house with the, with the husband who come to me and say, how can I get my husband to understand that his, some of the behavior that we see in our daughter is that she's like really trying to get his attention. I don't know what the answer is to that. Like, how do you get a father, even one who's in the house to understand the role that he needs to play? Well, a lot of times fathers are ill-equipped to have a conversation with their daughters. I mean, you're talking about a large generation of men that were not taught how to discuss and emote emotions. And emotions. How do I discuss? She says she's sad. What do I say after that other than it's going to be okay? You know? And so, and a lot of dads are um, too too much of a disciplinarian that they don't really open up. You better not talk to a boy. If you talk to a boy, I'll kill you. Or I'll kill him. And they never really engage. So we have to teach men how to actually have conversations with their daughters. Can you have an intimate 15 minute conversation with your daughter without making her feel judged and, and, and get information? I tell dads, you're going to kind of pretend, you got to channel your inner Oprah you're going to have to get the tea. You're going to have to get the juice. You're going to have to, you're going to, have to be gossip style. So then what happened? Oh, he came and he talked to Melissa and you were standing right there? Then what did you do? How did you feel about that? Well, are you and Melissa cool or no? All right. Oh, is that the same Melissa you talking about last week? Wow. And See, so, good. but you know, I've had training. I've been doing this right, for 19 right, right. years, talking to girls, but I take that for granted. I had to realize, man, you know what? Fathers are not taught how to do this, especially if they didn't have that relationship with their father or their mother. If their conversations were based on directives, children are to be seen, not heard, you know? And so we have to actually teach those fathers how to have that conversation with their daughters because daughters want to actually talk to their fathers about what's going on in relationships. You just have to make it safe.